Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some major buzz surrounding Lincoln Park. They've dropped a mysterious 100-hour countdown on social media, and fans are going nuts trying to figure out what it means. Could this be about a new album, a tour, or even a new member? Stick around as we break down all the clues and rumors. Let's dig in. Before we jump into the countdown, let's rewind a bit. Ever since Chester Bennington's tragic passing in 2017, Lincoln Park has been in a kind of limbo. His unique voice and presence were so crucial to the band's identity that it's hard to imagine anyone stepping into his shoes. And there's been a big question mark over their future ever since. Now with this countdown, it seems like something's finally happening. But what exactly? Earlier this year, Orgy's frontman Jay Gordon mentioned in a radio interview that he heard Linkin Park might already have a new female singer. Then, Billboard mentioned that some members of the band were thinking about a 2025 reunion tour, possibly with a female vocalist. It's all very hush-hush, but this wouldn't be the first time we've heard these whispers. There's been a lot of speculations about who this female vocalist could be. Amy Lee from Evanescence was one of the names that popped up. While she doesn't do harsh vocals, which is a big part of Linkin Park's sound, she did joke that she might consider joining part-time if they asked. But yeah, that's not happening. Another name that's been thrown around is Bonnie Fraser from the band Stand Atlantic. Last year, as part of the Already Over sessions, she performed the Bleed It Out with Mike Shinoda, and she killed it. Fans thought she might be a good fit, but Bonnie has denied these rumors on social media. I've got to say, Bonnie Fraser is actually my top pick if they go this route. Her energy and her vocal style could bring a fresh new vibe to the band. But if not Bonnie, Another great option could be Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm. She's got a powerful voice and knows how to command a stage. Either way, a female lead could be a fantastic way to shake things up and give Linkin Park a new sound. Alright, back to this mysterious countdown. Linkin Park is no stranger to using countdowns to hype up new releases. This one is set to end on the same day that some big music festivals like Rock and Rain are teasing announcements. And it's not just Linkin Park and these festivals making news. Psalm 41, who are on their goodbye tour, have also teased an announcement for the same day, mentioning their lead singer Derek Whibley. This has led many to wonder if there's a connection between these announcements. So, here's where it gets interesting. I've got a couple of bold theories to share. One strong possibility is that Derek Wibley could be stepping in as Linkin Park's new vocalist. Given his impressive performance of Faint, and considering that the timing is just too perfect to ignore, both Sum 41 and Linkin Park have announcements planned for the same day, right as Sum 41 wraps up their final tour. Both Sum 41 and Linkin Park shared a similar fan base during their peak years, so Derek joining Linkin Park could be a move that resonates well with fans of both bands. Sum 41's fans might continue to support Derek in this new role. With this scenario, we might also see a 2025 tour with them. But maybe no new music for now. It's also possible that Jay Gordon and Billboard's hints about a female vocalist could be a mix-up related to Mike Shinoda's recent performance of Already Over, which involved working with local musicians from various cities around the world and not necessarily linked to Linkin Park's plans. Alternatively, Mike's solo project could be a way to scout for a new female lead for Linkin Park. But Bonnie Fraser might not be the one. There could be another female artist in the running who has yet to be revealed. A female lead could be a smart move for Linkin Park. It would set the new lineup apart from the past and help avoid those inevitable comparisons to Chester, 
After all, no one can truly replace him. Another exciting possibility is that Lincoln Park might use advanced AI technology to recreate Chester's voice or image for future performances. It sounds a bit sci-fi, but with technology advancing rapidly, it's a possibility worth considering. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man. So what do you think? Are you leaning more towards Derek Wibley as the new frontman? A new female vocalist? Or something entirely different like AI technology for Chester's legacy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Catch you in the next one.